Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Can you believe it's almost the end of November? I'm not sure where all the time's gone this year. In some ways, it's gone hugely fast. In other ways, it seems to have dragged on. But there we are. We are where we are. And it also means, for this year at least, that we're almost at Advent. Because Advent starts this Sunday, 29th of November. It's the fourth Sunday before Christmas. Now, I know your chocolate advent calendars or whatever sort of advent calendar you've got doesn't start until the first. I think that's a con. You're allowed to have two extra chocolates this year uh, on the vicar's orders. Well, whatever you're doing, I wonder what advent means to you. I think for a lot of us, advent just gets bypassed. Opening that little door in the morning, if you even go that far. Or perhaps the time where you start putting up your Christmas decorations. Now I know I've got mine up behind me, the lights aren't on yet, I can't quite cope with that, but it's a vicar's prerogative to get things ready uh, early before everyone else, I'm afraid it's one of these things. Rest of the house, not so much yet. Sunday it will happen. Well, I would like us to take a pause and to think a bit more about Advent. Advent means coming or arriving. And I'm sure you've probably seen posters or, or such things like this. Jesus is coming. Look busy. I'm sure if you're anything like me, when you were school age and your teacher walked out the room and they told you to get on with certain bits of work, I imagine that you didn't actually get on with the work quite to the same extent as perhaps you should have done until you hear their footsteps coming down the corridor. Quick, they're coming back, look busy. The idea being, of course, that if you look busy enough when they walk in, they're not gonna notice that you've been messing about for the last five minutes. Of course, it didn't fool the teachers. And the idea that like, by looking busy, Jesus won't be fooled either is ludicrous. But I've got a deeper problem with this really, because it picks up the idea that Jesus is just looking for an excuse to punish us. This is the sort of thing that's said by people who don't know Jesus. Jesus is full of love and grace and mercy. Yes, he is just, but his default position is one of great love. John talks about it in 1 John. God is love. Not that he does loving things, but he is love itself. Truly defined, truly lived out. So what are we make to make of Advent then, of Jesus's arrival? Well, I'd like us to make the most of this time, not as an idea of looking busy, because actually now we're getting close to Christmas, God's paying attention. And if you don't look busy, you'll be in his naughty list. It's not like that at all. It's more like this. The biggest picture we see again and again of what uh, eternal life will be like is like a big party, a feast. Now, if you're going to go to a party, you don't just rock up um, as you are, do you? No, you have a wash, you put on your best clothes or whatever's appropriate uh, for that sort of party. And you'll get yourself ready, not because you think you'll be in trouble, but actually you know that to make the most of the party, to be able to be able to fit in and join in with the party, you need to make the most of the time to prepare. As the same is true with their walk in Jesus. We don't need to think about Advent as looking busy so God doesn't put us on the naughty list, but rather what a great opportunity to pause, to get ourselves ready, to look in the metaphorical mirror at ourselves and to make ourselves um, prepared for the coming party. Parties are so much better when you get ready for them first, aren't they? And our, our walk with Jesus is the same. If we just drift through life we miss out on all the joys and the wonders so i wonder what are you going to do to get ready for christmas what are you going to do to prepare for advent that's more than buying presents and more than putting up decorations for something that prepares you for the coming party not just at christmas but of eternal life if you want some more ideas there's some information on the homepage of our website, kumtakumchurches.co.uk, or please feel free to be in contact, and I'd love to be able to help you find some resources to prepare for Advent this year. <music>